Welcome back, Dream Nation. It's been a little while, I know, I know. I haven't forgotten about this channel. In fact, I have some plans for it in the near future and maybe long term, which I will address in another video. But for now, I just had to take some time to get my thoughts down on the big trade that the Atlanta Dream just made. The Dallas Wings traded Alicia Gray to the Dream in exchange for Atlanta's third overall pick in this year's draft and their first rounder for 2025. Uh, my immediate knee-jerk reaction Hell yeah. Gray was an NCAA champion, the 2017 Rookie of the Year, and an Olympic gold medalist. You thought Ryan Howard was hard to contain? Well, you add Alicia Gray to the mix, your chances of winning drastic go down. A little bit of signer math for you, for those who know. The Dream's 2022 season was just the beginning of their rebuild towards a title contending team, and I'm pretty sure that this is step two. Not only is Alicia Gray a Georgia native, she went to high school just a stone's throw from Atlanta, but over the last six seasons, she's averaged 11.7 points, 4.2 rebounds, and two assists per game. Just last season alone, she had 13.3 points per game, 4.8 rebounds, and 2.5 assists. She was a big reason why the Wings went 18 for 18 and made the playoffs. How she didn't become an all-star, I'll never understand. Not only that, but Ari McDonald's immense improvement at point guard is only going to get better, and Cheyenne Parker was pretty sweet at center. You throw in the signing of Daniel Robinson earlier this month, and really the biggest hole in Atlanta's roster is going to be power forward. And the beauty of that is that since Gray's contract is pretty inexpensive, the Dream have a lot of cap space to go out and get a power forward. With their big turnaround this past season and a very obvious commitment to building a contender for the next season or two, I really don't think that they're going to have a hard time selling potential power forwards on Atlanta. I do have some slight reservations about the draft picks we sent to Dallas, though. I mean, the front office, they must be pretty confident in this core group if they think that these draft picks are going to be that expendable. And surely by 2025, Howard and McDonald are going to be absolute stars in this league, but Gray may or may not be on this team by then. And if things turn out as well for the Dream as they hope, then their remaining draft picks in 2025 are going to be late draft picks. Of course, I'm sure that the front office realizes this. It's a gamble one way or another, but so far, I think the Dream made a pretty good move. Now, on the Dallas side of things, I'm sure Wings fans are pretty tired of uh, losing great players in their primes to trades or free agency. But with that third overall pick, maybe they can distract fans from that fact. Not to mention the fact that Arike Ngumbawale signed one hell of an extension, and I'm pretty confident that Sibali will be extended after this next season. And of course, there's that extra first rounder in 2025. Plenty of time to build a contender of their own, right? I think this is going to be a good deal for the Dream. Not just for the immediate support that this gives us, but consider that the Dream is the only team in the Southeast. And when Gray won the NCAA title, she did it with South Carolina. Fan support in Atlanta has already seen a tremendous improvement this season, so adding a South Carolina alumni to the only Southeast team in the league can only help that. College basketball fans, especially women's college basketball fans, are very loyal to players who played for their favorite programs. South Carolina and Georgia being in the same region, I think that'll really uh, help team loyalty and maybe expand the fan base a little bit. Generally, I like this trade. A little bit iffy on the long-term ramifications, but for the next two seasons, I don't think I'll be complaining much then. Well, I think that about does it. Thank you for uh, listening to me ramble. Um, I'll have some updates and even a, an unboxing coming up, uh, so watch out for that. And of course, when the season starts in a few months, I'm going to try to make a video after every Dream game. I had a pretty good time doing that last year. Let's see if I can do it again, eh? I'll see you soon.